Hey, it's Dr. Morales, and in this video, I'm going to talk about diets for AFib. I'm going to give you my overall tips that are hopefully will help anybody uh, with AFib. I'll also talk about how I can help you with your AFib with, with diet, and we'll talk a little bit about, well, does it work, and when can it can it be helpful? So what about diet for AFib? Does it really help? You know, I, I get it reached out by a lot of people and who tell me that their doctors tell them that they don't think diet works or it just doesn't help, and you get given medications or procedures as your only option. But what about lifestyle modification and diet does it does it really help and the answer to that is yes and it always plays a role to it um, there are times when you need more than that involved and I'm going to I'm going to get to that in, in just a moment here but yes diet lifestyle modifications clearly uh, uh, are very helpful um, there have been a few studies in uh, over the last few years some of the most important ones are called the legacy trial and the reverse AF trial and showed people who, who have AFib and were able to lose weight. Uh, usually the, the people who got the best benefit were able to lose about 10% of their initial body weight, had a significant reduction of their AFib and were actually able to reverse the disease. And so there certainly is clinical evidence that showed that losing weight and lifestyle modifications improve AFib. In addition, there have been studies that shown that things such as inflammation and inflammatory markers are worse. The more and more people that have AFib, the longer they have AFib, the more severe that the disease gets, the more that uh, inflammation gets worse. And so having a lifestyle that helps to try to uh, improve uh, your inflammation can also be super helpful. Now, timing-wise, is there an optimal time where diet can be helpful? Uh, and well, that goes down to what is your overall treatment goals. You know, do you only want to do it with diet or do you want diet to be a component of your treatment? Diet is always a beneficial component of treatment for anybody with AFib. But as far as only treating it with diet, well, there are times when it can be uh, very successful. Uh, people who can do very well just with diet only are usually people in the um, earlier stages of AFib. You know, maybe they haven't had AFib that long. Uh, their episodes come and go when they're not in AFib all the time. And those people can actually do very well with just lifestyle uh, modifications and make a huge improve, improvement for them. And I've seen it benefit a lot of patients, especially when you can stay and be committed. You know, that's the, always a trick with, with, with diet and, li and lifestyle modifications that you have to stick with it to actually get those benefits. Uh, you know, even in these trials in the, in the, in the past, the legacy trials show that if people fluctuate, they're not staying, they're not committed, if it comes back, you know. And so you definitely need to stay uh, committed on, on, on your diet and, and lifestyle modifications to have some improvement and people who are in the earlier stages of AFib certainly can have that benefit just with the diet by itself okay now what about people who have more advanced AFib what if they are in AFib all the time something to call persistent AFib or they just had it for many years can diet by itself uh, reverse or improve AFib well it always possibly can, but in my experience with my patients, people who are more advanced uh, stages of AFib often need a hybrid approach. You know, they, yes, the diet stuff, it works, it helps, they lose weight, they, they lower their in inflammation, but they still may need some traditional parts of procedures such as a uh, catheter ablation procedure, an electrical shock called a cardioversion to get a person out of AFib, uh, or um, even some some additional uh, medication. So they they usually need a hybrid approach. You know, one of my favorite stories is a patient of mine I had a couple of years ago who had AFib for several years, uh, and most people had written them off, and that say if you're stuck with AFib, you're going to have it for for the rest of your life. But he actually made dramatic lifestyle changes, lost a lot of weight. He lost like 50 pounds. He eliminated his high blood pressure, he eliminated his diabetes, he pretty much eliminated all his medication except for his AFib medication. The AFib will not, would not stop by itself. But when I saw him, I, I was so impressed with all the work that he had done, I said, you've earned a chance to not be an AFib. And so I ended up just giving him a cardioversion, just a reset, which normally wouldn't work in somebody who's had an AFib for a few years, but he did something. He changed his body. He got healthier. And in his setting, it worked great. You know, he, he got into normal rhythm. He still required a little bit of medication to stay in normal rhythm, but it worked. And, and it, it was because of his hard work and his diet, which really helped me do my part and get out of AFib. So I hope that's easy to understand in the sense that if you have more advanced AFib, 
using diet to help with AFib is certainly an, an important component and it can be very, very helpful, but frequently a hybrid approach uh, would be needed if you want really good results if you've had a, AFib for a while. But then if you're relatively new to AFib or your, your episodes AFib come and go, just diet by itself can have a very, very good uh, uh, results uh, for some people, okay? I wish I could say it would be a 100% cure and you wouldn't need any medications anymore and everything would be gone, uh, but it, I mean, people can have a significant improvement some, uh, with just diet by itself. So so what do I recommend for diet for, for most people? You know, in this video, I'm gonna talk about diet tips, but however, I created the step-by-step -step plan. Uh, you know, I created a, a program called the Take Control of Afib Program, where I, I'll give you the step-by-step -step plan of exactly what I'm discussing in this video to help you get results as fast as possible. But in this video, I wanted to give some tips that can help anybody, no matter where they live. And if you're somebody who likes to just do things on their own, uh, uh, and that's good. take these tips and, and please put them in, in, into into your life. Okay, so the diet types that I typically recommend are very similar in a sense. Uh, they pretty much eliminate most processed foods. You're really focusing on whole natural ingredients. You're really eliminating added ingredients, such as added sugar, added salt. You know, I always tell my patients, try to keep your food as natural as possible, uh, at the closest to where it came from the ground or the animal, and because that's the healthiest way uh, to eat, okay? And el eliminating artificial ingredients, artificial preservatives, as much as possible, and these days it's kind of hard to completely eliminate, but as much as possible is really the o overall goal. So there's a couple of diet types out there, which are, you know, been very around for a long time, which I do, uh, recommend to my patients to try. Um, one of them would be the uh, Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet is actually probably one of the first ones that I that I recommend to my patients because I think it's probably the the light the least life altering of some of the uh, some of the other uh, diet types that I typically re recommend. Um, you know, it still allows for some foods that people are kind of accustomed to, like pastas, you know, but it's not, but it still emphasizes on a lot of whole foods, ingredients, a lot of vegetables, healthy fats, uh, healthy, uh, me healthier meat options like, like seafood. So it seems to be a less drastic change for a lot of people. And the Mediterranean diet year after year is consistently ranked one of the healthiest di diets are around you know, for people with any type of heart problem, inclu including atrial fibrillation. So it's certainly one that I recommend. And, and plus, one of the reasons why I recommend it, because it's, like I said, it's less life altering. And it, I want people to do something they can hopefully stick with, because that's how you really get benefits, is when you're able to stick with something long term. So what's another diet that I, re I, I recommend to my patients? It would be a, a paleo diet. Uh, a paleo diet uh, is um, basically uh, sometimes called a hunter-gatherer diet. It's, uh, it's uh, basically trying to keep your food as close as you can to the ground, the animal. Uh, sometimes people get confused with the paleo diet with like a carnivore diet, meaning that's all you eat is meat, and that's certainly not uh, what I recommend to my patients, but more of a more of a holistic approach, you just kind of keep everything as natural as possible, removing our, our artificial ingredients, at, at added sugars. Uh, it's certainly a very healthy way, way to eat. It can be a little restrictive, but it, it is certainly is, is, is a healthy way to eat, and there is one diet type that I recommend to my patients. And then the third one, uh, which at these days actually probably has the best evidence for in terms of reversing disease, nothing specific for AFib, but in terms of reversing disease, or uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, even living longer in some studies, is a whole foods plant-based diet. Whole foods plant-based diet uh, really tries to eliminate meat products as much as possible and really focusing on whole plant foods, not processed plant foods, because there's plenty of unhealthy processed plant foods, but whole plant foods, uh, and really the evidence on that has been really quite uh, quite remarkable, okay? And so those are your kind of diet tips. If you like to kind of go out there on your own and just do it yourself, you know, that is completely up to you. I hope you take these tips and start applying them into your own life and just in a kind of a do-it-yourself manner. However, you know, some people want more guidance than that. More people want, some people want a step-by-step -step plan of knowing how can you do it? How can you inf uh, uh, put in, input some of these tips into your own life to get results as quickly as possible? And that's why I created the Take Control Over Fit program. The Take Control Over Fit program takes the best parts of all the, these tips that I just gave and gives you a step-by-step -step plan for everything that you need to improve AFib with mostly diet, but then I also talk about other lifestyle modifications such, such as uh, stress management as well and sleep as well, but it mostly focuses on nutrition and diet, and diet change because that's where the best 
evidence is, and that's what I've really seen have made a huge improvement for a lot of people's AFib. So in the Take Control of AFib program, I've taken the best of all these diet types I just discussed and put it into one spot. I gave you the step-by-step -step plan of how to implement it into your life, and I keep tying it back to atrial fibrillation because I, that's the end result is I want you to be able to get results as quickly as possible. So that's why I created the program to help anybody no matter where they live. So if you're interested in taking control of AFib program, there's a link underneath this video. It'll take you over to my website for my program where you get to learn more about the program itself. You'll see what's included in the program as well as see testimonials and reviews from people who have actually taken the program. So see what they have to say and find out the take control of AFib program can also be beneficial for you and your AFib.